Dave. All right, buddy. All right, we're going to try a mini bonus hunt. Tom, new Mr. Emoji. Thumbs up for the bonus hunt, I reckon that might mean. Right, I'm going to kick it off. And I did exactly the same as I did yesterday. Um, decided we'd have a coffee, or Tara decided we'd have a coffee seconds before the stream started. So I'm just going to put the first one up now. I put a few names on the reserve list, so if we get any of those, or if some of them aren't playing very well, we'll we'll um, we'll we'll fly through them. These are the reserve ones. Now, the reason I'm doing this stream on this site tonight, as um, I put on the uh, the Facebook page, they gave me 15 free spins today. I had a hit on Dragon Tribe. It paid about two pound seventy-five in the 15 free spins, and after that, I thought two pound seventy-five. I'll do 30 p a spin, get rid of it quickly, and um, I had a few wins with it. Uh, then uh, I then thought, right, I've got seven quid now. I'll go up to seventy-five p and one eighty quid. So that was really nice. So I'm getting early. Uh, so watching, <laughs> watching. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Well, what you could do, Dave, is say to Nick, look, uh, Ian's really desperate for viewers. So can you do the washing up tonight instead? That might be best. Uh, I'm on the big telly. Oh, nice. Miles behind again. Not to worry. Right, let's start off with Book of Dead anyway. Enough of this idle chit chat. And evening, Gary. Oh, I better start writing some names down. Uh, there's a bit of paper. I had some earlier. Thought I'd get it all ready. Uh, actually, stick them in this book. Because obviously, I'm sure you three are going to go straight on to the um, the new wheel. If I can find my pen, there it is. So, who have we got? Dave, Tom, and Gary, and Jill, and Julie. <laughs> Dave, Tom, Gary, Jill, and Julie. Right, all it is is two consecutive days because it's going to be played at the end of the month anyway. Um, we're going to do two consecutive days, so you got a chance. Uh, let's have a look. It's going to be three per week, four weeks roughly. So fifteen, say sixteen. You got sixteen chances, haven't you? Divided by two because two consecutive days. So yeah, you, you'll have eight, eight, eight bits of pie each. Sally, hello. Right, let's put you in the book. So, as for the rules, if you're all here again tomorrow night, uh, you get pie. Simple as that. Right, not tomorrow, Thursday, I should say. Lloyd, I'm sure you'll be getting pieces of pie all over the place, mate. Let's stick you down. Right, off we go. We're going to do a little bonus hunt. And, as I said, same as last night, I forgot to make the coffee before the stream. So, there won't be any cigarette breaks tonight because we haven't got any. Iceman, let's stick you on the list, mate. Iceman. Yeah, if you're back tomorrow again, Iceman, you get a piece of pie. Right, excuse me a second.
got some chairs in charge to do anything, but we've only lost what two quid. That's not too bad. What's in that time? That's one spot there. Oh, sorry, I've missed the link. By the way, I played such a party the other day. I think a bonus. I've had one. Yeah, it's good fun. I hit one bonus. Um, as always, on any of those um, blueprints, it gives you the bottom bonus, and you've got to gamble up. Unfortunately, so it is. Um, it's not the the easiest one to get, but you've got the mini bonuses where the sausage buggers off and comes back. That's it. That's exactly right, Tom. Play cargo today for a couple of quid and forty p's. Didn't get anywhere near bonus. An eighteen pound or thirteen pound win. Oh, nice one. RGS, right. Let's get you down because I'm sure you'll be back on Thursday. If you do, you get a piece of pie. So RJS Gaming. Yeah. Any of you that's here at the moment, if I see you Thursday. Yeah, it was going to be a fifty pound night, Lloyd, but I had a win during the day for free. Completely uh, cost me absolutely nothing tonight's stream. Right, I think let's give Book a rest and let's go for the Dragon Ship. Now, this is the game I won the money on today. Dragon Ship, there it is. Same provider. Ah, oh, Nicola, right, let's stick you in the book. And Craze 24. And Craze. So, right, now this one's got two bonuses. Uh, those are just, you've got to get those on lines 1, 3, and 5, and they've just got coin values in. That's the bonus. Stack there, stack there. They become wild all the way through, 15 spins. That's how I got the, the big money. But as you can see, um, it plays. That's what I was playing for in the end, 75p. But I think what we'll do to start with, we'll try 30p for a minute. And as I say, this this might not continue as a bonus hunt. It's just to see how it goes, to be honest. If it starts taking the money away too quickly, then we'll just go random. Yeah, the bonus looks like it, it should be difficult to get, but I, but I had it three times in no time. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go, no. So two rows of those dragons, all rum ships. And the count is wild in the base game as well, so, you know, that's handy. Yes, we got one. I won't count this as the bonus because this is just the random feature. Three quid. Oh, look at these two. So that would have been 30 quid because it's times two lots of steak. Never mind. That'll do. I did a nice carbonara tonight when I got home. It was really good. One of my favourites, Carver. I do like fajitas as well, to be honest. Come on then, it didn't take this long today. I was literally at work waiting to be loaded and the money came in in no time and I thought right 80 quid I'm gonna pack up and just come back with that tonight but my 
keeping it's a bit of easy come easy go by the looks of it at the moment. I had all the luck I was going to have on this one this morning. Oh, come on, don't tease twice. Yeah, it's going to. <laughs> Typical look, we get it down the end that time. Oh, Tara's stream froze as well, Dave. I don't know. Um, you haven't missed anything, to be fair. I think you should switch it around tomorrow, Dave. You should do the cooking, mate. Bit of beans on toast. And then it can wash up. <laughs> she hates cooking. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's get one in straight away. Yes. Right, so we've got Dragon Ship. I'm not going to bother putting the um, amounts today. So, Dragon Ship. We'll just put a little star in there. Um, right, we'll leave out Aztec Gold. I'm going to go on to Donuts next. So, I'm not necessarily going to do them in any particular order. Just what I fancy at the time. So, donuts. And obviously, any wins we'll play Gaga at the end as normal. Pot noodle, perfect. Yes. Just a fork. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, actually, dish it up, Dave. <laughs> Napkins the lot. Just so there's more to pack away. <laughs> well, I don't think we've had this one on stream yet, have we? But again, with this one, we'll, we'll, we'll know in about £5 whether it's going to pay or not. But the bonus can go mental. You can get a 50x uh, multiplier on this one in the bonus. <coughs> That's one of my passions, I love cooking. Everything from scratch as well. I don't do packets. To be honest, packets are a rip off. All the stuff you can, uh, like uh, uh, fajitas, carbonaras, uh, well any, anything. All you need is a mortar and pestle. That's it. Because everything that's put into a packet is stuff you can buy on the herbs and spices rack and grind yourself. Our oh, donuts is great, so. Yeah, so for instance, tonight, for a carbonara, all it was was peppercorns beaten up. Um, I like uh, uh, rosemary and thyme. So a bit of rosemary and thyme in there, only a tiny bit, half a teaspoon. Crush that up. Onion powder, I always use onion powder instead of onions. I think it just gives it a nicer texture. Crush those up. Bacon, big chunks of bacon in a frying pan um, with a bit of oil, get them nice and brown with the dry mix. Put a little bit of, it's supposed to be cream, but I cheat. I just put a little bit, a tiny bit of milk on just to, um, so everything doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. After that, two eggs cracked into it, beat them in. So it's like a proper egg carbonara, beat those into it. So you've got almost like a, scrambled eggy omelette sort of thing going on um, and then tip some add the cooked pasta bit of cheese on top cost about £1.50 for both of us yeah I see what you mean the, the thing is Dave with those packets they often say cook it for 45 minutes um, with this, I did the cut. I, I got in at about half past seven, 
Um, we'd finished eating by about 10 past eight. That's how quick it is. Or do, do the dry mix the day before even, or any any time you've got five minutes, dry mix, tip it in. Probably cost two to three pound to make the batch. Still got half, yeah, exactly. It, it, it is really possible to eat cheap. People that say, oh, food's really expensive. Buy loads of ingredients all at the same time, dry mix. And those packets, what are they, one pound, two pound, each time you cook with those little jars you can make 20 or 30 different sort of rubs or herbs yeah yeah it, and, and it was really nice as well Dave but my favorite still that bang bang chicken I had that again at the weekend it was gorgeous no I didn't I had it last weekend beg your pardon but Tara like I do my own sort of um, Kentucky fried chicken as well uh, with chicken thighs and Tara prefers that to you know make my own rub for the chicken with flour and um, yeah that's nice this isn't doing too bad I'm, I'm really not concentrating am I on the games at the moment Yeah, I suppose as well, David. Depends what time you you know normal normal sort of times. It depends what time you start work in the morning, doesn't it? And whether you've got time for that sort of thing with kids as well. I'm I'm lucky that you know mine don't live with me anymore, and um, well, they never did. <laughs> but yeah, so I I've, I I have got spare time when I get home, and I know what it's like when you've got kids, mate. And it? So it is more difficult. Um, funnily enough, Nick, I've got a video. Send me your email address on um, uh, Messenger. Just send me an email address, either yours or Dave's. And I vid my sister-in-law wanted to know how to make it. Um, so I did a video of me making the Bang Bang Chicken. So uh, drop me your email address on private message and I'll show you where to find the, the video. It's online or it's in the cloud and I'll, I'll give you a link to it. Donuts is going to work. We'll play these four free uh, four spins out. because the balance is running down pretty rapidly we'll try one or two more if we don't succeed we'll just open the bonuses I think or we'll open the bonus that we've got at the moment Let's go Aztec Gold Megaways. That would be nice to get anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do to start with. Um, Dragon 
and shit. I think we'll turn this into a normal game. See what we've got on this. I really wanted to get some bonuses early, so we'll uh, we'll open this bonus now. See what it does. So we, it's two times whatever that says at the bottom. There's a five already. Daryl, you've come in just at the right time, mate. I've just opened the first boat. We we were going to do a bonus hunt, but I thought we'll we'll see how it goes until halfway. It wasn't going too well, but we did get, manage to get this bonus. So um, what I'm going to do is a burst hunt. As soon as I've got them, I'll open them. Then we'll move on. This isn't doing too well either. We can have done with one more of those. Come on, at least one line of five, please. And four spins left. And I'm sure if you get that Viking, pay a fortune. That's quite nice because you get that three ways. So 7, 14, 1560, that's not too bad. One more on that one. Ooh, that gives us another one, that's 50p. And that's two more spins at least. Right, a bit of Aztec gold. Gold Mega Ways, there it is. I love this game. It's so hit and miss though. Right, and if Lloyd's still there, is this your favourite one, Lloyd, or, or do you just like it? Let's stick at 40p to start with. Gargo's got to come out tonight, hasn't he? Definitely, Lloyd. Oh, would have been nice with a decent symbol at the front. It's one of your favourites, yeah. I, don't, I really like it. it. It seems when you do get the bonus, it pays really well. But it is difficult to get, obviously, getting five scatters. But then the mega ways are always good. Yeah, vapes working. Yeah, Antares. Um, didn't buy any cigarettes or tobacco, well, I smoked tobacco, but yeah, didn't buy any today. Haven't missed it yet at all. I'm sure I will by the end of the week. Mind you, I'm in that frame of mind at the moment, Nick, where I really don't want one. You know, I've seen what the virus is doing to smokers, and uh, pretty much if you smoke, you pretty much had it. One more. I really thought that was coming. Damn, I really 
thought we were going to hit there. Do you not drink at all, Nick, or are you just teasing? I used to drink like a fish and I just I, I just went off it one day and when I started getting those stomach pains and I've never really gone back to it. I've tried a few times but I don't really like it anymore. Ooh! Right, that's got to be an omen. Lots of wise playing here. Yeah it does, yep. Yeah. Lots. Nick's just mentioned jam. I think we've got to go for jam in jars because of that. Sometimes little omens like that are all it takes. And Nick was choosing quite well yesterday. And you might have accidentally asked for one there, Nick. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I do at parties, but no. Yeah, I used to be similar, but even at parties now, I don't, I don't really like it. Right, come on, let's get one of those big ones at the top. Don't just give us the five. Oof. I thought that was going to be it. Right, every time we hit one, that goes up to three again. But I've just got a feeling this isn't going to be very good. And if it's not, I think we'll just move on. lucky so we get three times two three times one three times four on that line oh, oh yeah right we'll have to do it then Lloyd yes come on let's keep hitting though keep hitting it's really teasing isn't it and with these two one X's I don't think it's going to go any further oh yes it did five X one X Come on, let's have one of these jackpots, please. Don't even mind the major. It's hitting again. So yeah, every time we fill a line we get this as well. But it's five times one, five times one, five times three. Like this one is three times four. There's, there's 12x, 6x and 3x there. So, and that's every time we fill up a line. So it's looking good now. Scamming jars. Absolutely. So you can see the amount of megaways is the uh, multiplier up here. Yeah, so we only need one here now, and one there now, and one there for these to change to gold. Come on, come on. At least one more full line, please. Oh, the mini's just gone by on that one. You imagine 30 times 6 that would have been. Come on, get one more in, please. One. No, that's it. Never mind, that's good. Let's just do that and find out, shall we? Okay. £26.40. Very happy with that. And there's the mega. Typical. And the major. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go for 60p's down to 60. No messing about tonight. It's either going to be a short stream and no money or a long stream and win big. By the way, these little pop ups are nothing. But if you see a jackpot, that's how I got the bonus today. It just gives you a little jackpot. Every, you know, you, you play so much and then it'll give you a jackpot every so often. And I played on this site last Tuesday and I forgot I had the jackpot symbol. 
Ooh, that looks tidy. Nearly eight quid. We might as well just go down to 70 and then a bit of jamming jars. I'm not going to stay too long on jamming jars because, as we all know, we find out very quickly. Yeah, it was a nice win that, Nick. We find out very quickly whether that one's going to pay or not. Might two more on here, probably. Oh no, that's another three goes. KTB, welcome. Right, KTB, if you come and say hello again on Thursday, you get a piece of pie. Now, what we're doing is, is it? Is it Katie? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so if you come and say hello again on Thursday, Katie, you get a piece of pie on the new wheel. We did the wheel yesterday and Jill won, who's just above you on the chat. Um, if you come on, if you then come on Sunday and Monday again, you get another piece of pie and so on. So you can be on the wheel as many times as streams you watch, as long as they're consecutive. So welcome back, Katie. Right, I've got to play Jam in Jars now because two people have mentioned Jam in the chat by complete fluke, I'm sure. And we do like a good omen. So let's have a go. Oh, by the way, Tom, your um, little um, football thing today and your dad's little football thing, to start with, mate, I thought you just copied and pasted his. It was that similar. It was like West Ham 1970s, West Ham 1990s. And I don't think you're ever going to be forgiven for disliking your hometown club. That's appalling, mate. You know, even, even me coming all the way to Bournemouth, it was still my hometown. Unforgivable. Did, oh, Katie, did you play the quiz the other night? Were you one of the people at the quiz that Tom hosted? Come on, Jemmins. You know, I'm trusting you at 40p a go rather than, th uh, rather than 20, so let's pay us back. Oh, good. Thank you, Tom. That's very kind of you. Eastley on my home. Mm, your dad's used that excuse before, and that's not right, is it? <laughs> that's like saying to everyone that lives in um, Gosport and Fairham and Warsash that they can't support Portsmouth. Doesn't work like that, mate. Because because if that's the case in the World Cup, I could just say, well, I'm going to support France this year. I certainly wouldn't say Scotland, Wales or Ireland. No, I'm only teasing anyway. As, as well you know. It did a really good job, Katie. Yeah, it was really good fun, and I am looking forward to the next one, genuinely. I, I like things that are, are, are real like that. I'm not a big fan of uh, reality TV because it's too overproduced and too set up. 
but I do like people on, that's why I stream, I like watching stream, I like watching people in their own front room doing their own thing. But even programs like um, Gogglebox, it's it's far too um, overproduced or over edited. Clearly missed something when the stream went down. Yeah, we had a um, hit on um, Aztec Gold, Dave. You had an SO postcode, not EA. Yes, quite right, Nick. <coughs> you know, I, I was devastated when Sam had on his birth certificate Portsmouth. But I had to bring and bear it. Yeah, Tom, when you do another one, can we have a category, please? Um, motorbikes, uh, music between 1970 and 1990. That would be perfect. Exactly, Dave, yeah. Yeah, they're all overproduced, mate. Yeah, a lot of people keep saying they're seeing the satellite. A, a, a friend of mine at work um, put something on Facebook the other day. He thought he saw something, you know, really weird in the sky. And yeah, it, um, what from Locks Heath? I'm not from Locks Heath. Yeah, yeah, from, um, would, it, would it have been Locks Heath or Titchfield Common at the time? Yes, of course you would have, Dave, yeah. Because did your mum and dad live in... Um, just off Titchfield Lane, didn't they? That's fair enough, actually, Tom. Yeah, hometown. It was weird for me, because my dad didn't like football at all. Nan did and Grandad did. Nan Tormann was a Portsmouth fan, and Grandad Tormann was a Saints fan. So I grew up in my youth because I didn't really register that you weren't allowed to like both but I used to go to Fratton Park and I used to go to the Dell and think nothing of it um, if there was a local derby I'd have to beat myself up at the end but yeah I did I, I, I went to both and to be fair I had just as much fun at each right I think we'll give Jamming Jars a skip Let's see if there was anything there that. Uh, barbarian. Oh no. Money train. This is a new one to the stream. Um, money train. Again, I used to be able to buy the bonuses on this one, so, and I always used to. I don't know how difficult it is to get the bonus. I know we need a, the bonus on line one, three, and five. <laughs> nice one, Dave. <laughs> Mind you, it was a bit like me. I, I never, you know, say when I was a Saints fan, I, I can't really call myself a fan because I um, used to have a mate called Glenn Cockrell that used to play for Saints and he used to provide me all, all the tickets I wanted. Right, loss limit. Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just do that and we, we can always stop it in a minute. Yeah, I did, I did as well, and and the old Dell was was similar. The atmosphere at the old Dell, to be honest, was was phenomenal. Do, 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 do. I also went up to um, when Glenn moved to he went to Fulham, I believe it was Fulham. Yeah, it was with Mickey Adams, and I still kept in touch. And Nick Eaton, obviously a Fulham fan. Um, I got tickets for Fulham against Crystal Palace, and again, that's a that's a nice ground. Mm. 
Is that right, Nick? That's weird, isn't it? Funny how I work with loads of Pompey people, and yeah, they support the team, but say people from Southampton are nice. There we go. You just made that up. Very oldie worldy ground Dave, yeah. No, to be honest, if I could choose a town that I've, you know, obviously having been around um, Hampshire most of my life, if I could choose somewhere, say Hampshire had one football team and I could place them anywhere, because the town's nice, the people are nice, the atmosphere's nice, it would be Winchester. And it would be nice to have one team representing everyone so everyone could forget about the rubbish between Portsmouth and Southampton. Uh, Winchester would be nice. But Bournemouth's the best place I've ever lived. It's wonderful down here. There's not one thing, you know, if if you're into jazz music or rock music or punk music or whatever you're into, you'll find a bar or something with that genre in it. <clears throat> Wild Worlds, yes, of course, I did promise Wild Worlds. We'll go down to 40 with this one. Because I'm determined to get the bonus, because you, you will like the bonus on this one if it comes in, Lloyd. It's a lovely town, Nick. And do you know what? I don't. To be honest, I don't think I've ever played. Only idiots have the real rivalry, though. In I've always followed the southern tides. Yeah, exactly, Dave. I, I know what you mean. You know, I, I used to do a little bet occasionally, and I, I know it's completely opposite. But it was for the south coast. It worked well, all the south coast. It was Brighton, Reading, Bournemouth, Southampton, Portsmouth, or Toulouse on the you know at the, at the weekend and um yeah i felt a bit bad about it but <laughs> it was a nice little bet and funnily enough you think those teams you think well blimey you must have won quite a bit no it it wasn't that common that all of them did you know because if saints were in form pompey weren't if pompey were in form saints weren't and so on so it's never been an easy one to get through And I've done it again, haven't I? I've spent too much time reading the chat and not looking at the uh, the balance. And I was playing at 50p's and didn't realise. Hey ho. Right, let's do a bit of wild balls. <laughs> Apart from the same. Now, obviously, th this is a um, irrational hate, though, Tom. It must be. It must be one of those like an Everton um, not liking because you know, there's nothing to dislike about Southampton football team um, apart from the fact that they've not always been brilliant so is it one of those just irrational hates like I hate for some reason Arsenal and I, I don't know why completely irrational you know there's no reason I should hate Arsenal at all I don't even particularly like football that much but Arsenal just gives me the eebie-jeebies for some reason I suppose it would be the, the obvious answer, Tom, would be you you were brought up on West Ham, so of course your local team would have been a rival. And so was it that rivalry? Maybe I don't I don't know. Right, let's start off with a fiver. No, let's start off with fifteen. Because we do this then, Gaga. So we're looking. Oh, this would be nice. All those turn wild. That's a nice load of wilds. Now the red ones do, all the pink ones do. So we need three of these, three S's. Yeah, 
<laughs> West Ham, I know. But funnily enough, because my dad, Dave, didn't like uh, football, I was influenced by um, Tom's dad, Alan. Um, obviously, he was he was one of the biggest influences in my life as a kid. Um, I had the scarf, I had the hat, I had the bloody Sabutio team. Everything was West Ham. But it wasn't until I sort of, well, I suppose it, halfway through secondary school, I thought, well, hang on a minute. I've got a football club just down the road and surely I should be supporting my hometown like if Swan Moore were in anything I'd support them first then it would be my local football team then it would be my local cricket team you know there's no difference in Tom saying I suppose my favourite cricket team Somerset So that, that, that would be uh, to gain something down two years later. Right, okay, yep, yeah, I'm with you. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, so you, you, you must have um, maybe a reason why, would, would Hampshire be your favourite cricket team, Tom? I, I would assume they would. Yeah. But the psychology of football and, and support and all sorts really I, I I love the psychology of it, as I say, I don't I don't particularly like the the game. I hate passionate rivalries. Um, I think they're a waste of energy. Uh, but I do like the psychology and philosophy of it all. You know, it's, it's especially I I can understand a little bit more the Saints Pompey rivalry because there was a history. Uh, but other rivalries, like I don't know enough about the Liverpool Everton, but I don't think there was an issue with um, uh, picket lines or anything. I'm not sure. You may be able to enlighten me. Yeah, so Hampshire for cricket, yeah. But would you feel, Tom, that anyone Hampshire born and, and bred and raised? Would you not find it strange if they were a Durham supporter, for instance, or Glamorgan or, or whatever? Would that be strange to you or not particularly? Actually, I remember going to it. I remember going to a West Ham Southampton match with Dave Adams at the old Dell, and I had my West Ham and Saint scarf linked together, and were wearing them both at the same time. Lloyd, can you remember if we've had a bonus on this one on stream before? Yeah, so that, that makes it even more interesting, Tom. If he was a Surrey fan as a kid, there must have been that moment he thought, well, hang on a minute, I live in Hampshire, so they should be my um, football, uh, cricket team. I wonder why the same thought process didn't go into the the football because it's like um, in ten years time most people who are six now if their dads don't follow football in ten years time there will be loads and loads of Manchester City fans there's no question about that um, let's go back a little bit further to the Leicester situation I know it was a one-off, but I bet you anything you like, there will be more Leicester City fans 
in say let's see how would that work out in about six years time than there ever would otherwise so it was all about glory hunting for people rather than affiliation because I've got so many friends my age who are massive Liverpool fans but have nothing to do with Liverpool whatsoever and it must be about right they were winning when I was a kid I had no influence yeah Dave Adams was who I, I used to go to football with so so yeah you would have had no influence as a kid because your dad didn't like football so you would choose on the basis of who was doing the best so as I say I'm sure in a few years time there's going to be a disproportionate amount of Leicester City fans oh am I? I <laughs> I haven't even I haven't even noticed the money, mate. Sorry, boys. <laughs> yeah, but as long as it's winning, that's perfect. <laughs> Come on, one more. Eighties Sport Liverpool, nineties United Arsenal as the right say City soon. Yeah, exactly. I think it was a bit of a glory hunter to be honest. The first FA Cup we saw, nineties yeah, West Ham, beat Preston, sixty five, yep. <laughs> yeah, but the, there is one thing that you have done, Tom, is you've been a fan of them through thick and thin. Uh, maybe you had no choice <laughs> knowing your dad <laughs> but yeah I was lucky enough to you know I, for my sins I used to I used to follow Liverpool um, as well because they were the team that were the best at the time but then as I said when when I was of an age I thought well hang on a minute I've got a local team down the road I can go and see them whenever I like so that seems the sensible thing to do and maybe had your dad oh no I think you did go and watch the Saints quite a few times though didn't you as a kid or was it always Eastley Tom right let's have another few on this one and then we'll, we'll move on fancy a bit of punk rocker next oh and don't forget the pie wheel next time could be anything from a fiver up to 50 quid. So as I say, if, if, if I don't have too many decent wins through the, this month, it'll be 5, 10, 15 or 20. Yeah, you can change, but I was sold. Right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the, the, there's a strange thing there, Dave, isn't there? Because when they were, I, to be honest, when they went down, I predicted to a guy Lee that I used to work with, he's a massive Saints fan. I said, I'm really sorry, mate, but they will go down to Division One before they go back to the Premiership. And he said, No, of course they won't. They'll bounce straight back up. I said, They will not. They'll be down and then they'll come up, maybe slowly. And um, that was exactly right. But it was great because we had something to cheer each week because they were winning rather than losing. Never went to the Saints, had a season ticket for two years at Eastleigh, right, yeah, so that makes sense as well. Tom, you, Dad and Gary. <laughs> oh blimey, we're up to, how did we get up to 60 quid, what's going on? I'm literally not concentrating on that at all. But I'm glad you chose it, Lloyd. <laughs> Is that another 10 as well? Yes. <laughs> We're nearly back to where we started from and I haven't got a clue. Maybe I should chat more often. Yeah, just just let me join in with the chat a bit more, chaps. We'll forget about the money. And maybe we won't end the stream when I've run out of money, because this is more fun. We've actually picked a topic that as I say it's the um it's the psychology of it I'm more interested in than the actual supporting. 
We went to the old Delhi Inn. We must have played Saints. And, oh wow! Yes, of course. Because I used to get um, players lounge tickets as well, and I remember going up into. The, I might have told you this before. Um, I went up into the players lounge when uh, Saints played Forest, and Brian Clough was up there. And I said, Mr. Clough, where are all the players? Because I used to, you know, like an old fart, I used to like a few autographs. And I said, where are the players? And he said, they played so rubbish, I've left them on the coach. So he, he'd gone upstairs for a drink. And it was like a, it, their players' lounge was like a village hall. There's a tiny village hall. Terrible tables that you got at a school, terrible chairs, and awful half-point glasses. It was a dreadful place. But I used to be so pleased because obviously when you go up there, you've got all the young girls waiting for the players. And I used to just stroll up. And when you come back down again, there's all these young lady autograph hunters. They knew I wasn't anything to do with the football, but it was just nice walking through and thinking, yeah, I've been up there. Well, watch and tell him about it later. I've still got that shirt, blimey. Should we change game? In there for a little while now. Right, so we still haven't got a bonus on Wild Worlds, but never mind. Sorry if I haven't been able to catch up with all the chat, but it's been going quite, quite a bit. Three big wins in five minutes, did I? <laughs> uh, hang on, let's have a bit of doghouse. I had a big bonus on this the other day. I forgot to tell you about this one. It was it was, um, what was it, 40 P's or 50 P's? I don't want to join in with that. Uh, yeah, 40 P's, and I hit the bonus with it. Oh, Rick and Morty. Right, we'll give this one, stop with cash decreases by, we'll give this one that odd nine quid. And then Rick and Morty, Dave, definitely. I remember Molly, uh, one Christmas, uh, Chris Evans used to be on radio, I can't remember, it was, I think it was Radio 2 or Virgin, and he had a, a phone in at Christmas, and it was for a child to sing a Christmas carol, and uh, Molly sang a Christmas carol to him live on the radio, which we'd actually broadcast live, and he was sending out Cornish past big Cornish pasties with his signature on. And mum had that in her freezer for ages. Must have market for retro shirts. Yeah, I'm not surprised. And um, apparently there's a really, really big market, Tom, and I mean really big market, um, for retro Banksies, uh, which I've managed to purchase myself one over the last few days. They're going for a fortune, mate. Forty quid, did I look? Oh, nice one, mate. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you were looking after me because <laughs> I haven't got a clue what's going on. Come on, come on, come on. I'll tell you what we we'll do with this one. The way I got this one the other day was power spinning it. I'm not going to do too many because it was it. Um, oh, Rick and Morty, wasn't it? to 45. Last one. Right, Rick and Morty. I'll tell you when we're after. We'll, I'll just show you this one quickly, Tom. And, and Gary and Dave, you'll like this one. Oh. Now this is when I loved football. 
Barry Eaton used to um, read Shoop and every week he'd send me the the um, copy after he'd read it and let me show you and this is real retro game Ooh. sorry about that yeah look at this there you go anyone remember shoot let's give it a couple of we'll take this one down to 40 quid and then we'll we'll go on to um, Rick and Morty just for a bit of nostalgia <laughs> Dave remembers shoot <laughs> I had tons of them mate I had tons of them look at Keegan look <laughs> Oh, the white one. Nice. But the bonus on this, you'll really like. I just hope we can get the bonus. Still going. You're joking, Dave. You can still buy it. Oh, I really want the bonus so you, you, you can all see it. Yeah, Keegan and his poem, absolutely. And Match, blimey. I don't remember Match, but as I say, Barry used to bring... And I loved the um, uh, posters. The posters were the absolute business. I used to have every, every single pullout, whether it was... And I can even remember having Crystal Palace players on my wall, Carlisle players even. Riley gets the annual bloody hell. No, I really didn't know it was still going. But maybe that's why I became so confused with who to support because literally the centre page was a poster of a footballer and I didn't care who they played for. They went on my wall <laughs> along with ABBA. <laughs> oh, really? oh well. Gary used to get it from Lindsay every year. No, it was always posters for me, Tom. Right, we'll come back to this one. If we can get the balance up, it's 50p a go. So I know Dave wants Rick and Morty, so we'll play that one next. If it's on here. Yeah, it is. But yeah, that, that shoot. As soon as I saw it on here, it brought back memories. But yeah, I, I remember my favourite poster was a guy called Colin Bell. I believe he was either Manchester City or Ipswich, and I, I can never remember. Um, it may have been both. Oh, it didn't give us the bonus. No, we will get that next time then, definitely, Lloyd. Right, 20 quid on here, and then obviously we'll finish off with Gaga at the end. Be doing it again next year, nice. Yeah, Louis still watching. Yeah, everyone else is watching the chat, as am I. <laughs> it's a bit easier for me because I don't have to type. Mind you, could we? Is it possible? I don't know. I've, I've just, I hear, uh, yeah, Man City. No, I thought it was. Um, I've heard a lot of people use this Zoom. Now, a few of you out there will be more techy, uh, tech savvy than me. Could I be streaming from YouTube and invite everyone to Zoom at the same time? Would that work? Does anyone know? So we could all just talk. Yeah, I bet the tournament charts were good. It was a great magazine. But of course, as I, as I was a, a terrible reader when I was little, and I still am now, um, for me it was all about the, 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 the pictures. <laughs> <coughs> oh, 
Ooh, very nice too. Another 20 quid. No, that's it. Forget about the games. They're, they're doing it by themselves. Good shout, Dave, this one. When I was little, and Jill and Sally might remember this, you used to be able to go to the SO garage and fill up with petrol and you get a bust of a footballer. And I mean, these were really good quality, Tom. It was just a white bust. And I had Colin Bell, um, Gordon Banks, uh, Bobby Moore. Um, who was the other one that was really... Oh, there was loads, but they were tiny little busts of players. But as I said, the, the quality in those days of any memorabilia was fantastic. And I, I wonder if you could find those on eBay or anywhere like that. Oh, it's hit and miss, is it? You could stream on one screen, well, zoom on the other one. Yeah, because I've got, I've got, well, I've got three screens. So I've got a sort of 50 inch on my left. I've got a little 21 inch at the top and my 25 inch that I'm watching now. But any, anyway, this is this is okay. I, I do like it like this, but maybe with all this virus stuff, it might be worth setting a zoom account up in case we all wanted to do something other than uh, other than this. You have got one of you. And that was the tiny little white bust. The base, Tom's about that big. And the bust itself was about that big in total. And I'm sure it was the SO petrol station you used to get them from. But you imagine having a whole set of those, how much they'd be worth now. Because they were a one-off and I'm sure not everyone kept them. You know, it's like everything. They'd have gone in the bin three weeks or four weeks later. You're getting the sound from this one because I can't hear a thing. Yeah, yeah, of course it would be, yeah, yeah. Because he, he'd be the same generation as me, really. I know I know your mum is, a, is is the next generation, but we were so close, I think there's only about four or five years, maybe five or six years between your mum and me. Oh, really, Nick? Yeah, so, so yeah, a few people would have kept them. Shall we do uh, Dragon Tribe? Yeah, okay, yeah. And you've spelt prolapse rather than perhaps. <laughs> and th that's quite amusing. <laughs> Shall we play Dragon Tribe Prolapse? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, I, I can't help it. I can't help myself. That's really made me laugh. Lloyd is having a piece of pie. <laughs> so Lloyd, one piece of pie already <laughs> for the best Freudian slip ever. <laughs> so Lloyd plus one pie. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> 150 pound, that West Ham show on eBay, bloody hell. Primals. <laughs> right, let's go for it. I'll tell you what, we'll do what we normally do. Let's go down to 40 just in case. But yeah, Lloyd is the first man on the pie chart, on the pie wheel, because that's hilarious. <laughs> No, you've only got one at the moment. No one's got any yet, Lloyd. You are the first one on there, mate. Because you've got to watch two days in a row to get a piece of pie. So you'll probably be the person with the most because you're always here. Right, let's try. We'll go. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Dragon Tribe, then we'll play Prolapse. 
that 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 machine's going to be known as that forevermore, isn't it? <laughs> no, that doesn't count, Tom. It's just the same word in a different n game. <laughs> but if anything makes me laugh like that, <laughs> that's completely accidental, then obviously I will be giving pieces of the pie away. But I think you'll agree, Tom, that you probably chuckled at that as well, mate. <laughs> never going to be able to look at that game in the same light. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dave. Will Gaga have a prolapse? <laughs> Oh yes, of course. Yes, well remembered. So you've actually got two. Yes, of course. Fucking prolapse. Prolapse will play Gargle in a minute. That prolapse. <laughs> That's the best one so far. Obviously not as good as the original. Yeah, he has got two. Yeah, he was the first one on there. Well remembered. <laughs> Biggie Rich's mega prolapse. That uh, that machine looks like it's had a prolapse anyway. Enough of the prolapses, you put me off me dinner. Have we actually won on this one? We have, haven't we? Certainly haven't lost very much, if not. Right, if this teases us once more, we'll move on to primals. I think we'll have ten on primals anyway, and then obviously Gaga gets the last twenty. Piggy Riches maybe actually just in that. Saw that just now, didn't I? Because I said Piggy Rich's prolapse. It is all about the base games, yeah, absolutely. on that one yesterday. Right, so Piggy Riches has got two... Right, okay. I still haven't played my Pump Rocker, have I? Here we go, let's put it to the vote. Piggy Riches, Genie Jackpot, Pump Rocker. What was the other one? That was... Um, Primals, there you go, that's the four. Primals, Piggy Riches, Punk Rocker, Genie. First one to be named twice. So after Lloyd saying, yeah, Piggy, that's the cutoff, so. 
first lot to be named twice by two different people, that's the one we'll play and that's the choices. And obviously we'll do Gaga last. Testament Prolo no he wasn't in it. So one for Genie. One for Piggy. He is a great commentator. So is King Edward. He's a great commentator. Genie it is. Oh, we better do it now, actually. Oh, there's some tens. This is the biggest tease ever because we only had one to start with, didn't we? Right, we need that blue dragon here because obviously the bonus isn't com coming because this is just one of those weird. Come on! Come on! Come on! I just threw my pen down in anger. Yes! We've got it at last. And it's at 40 instead of 20. Come on! We might be able to play Piggy and Genie. So all we need, every time we get a hit, oh, don't say it's going to be awful now. Every time we get a hit, we get a light on. As soon as we've got three, he becomes wild. So we need lots of hits in a row. That's the only problem with this game. So please hit, yes. So he's now, the little blue one's now wild. Queen on two. Yes. Oh yeah, perfect. It is because of your joke, definitely. But it wasn't a joke, mate, it was accidental. Right, come on, yeah, here we go. So we now need Queen on two. Or a wild now. Ten works as well, but come on, Queen on two. Queen or a wild. Keep coming. Is that a hit? Yeah, it is. So we've got another. What we're looking for is all of them full up with about five or six spins left, is plenty. But we don't want to stop hitting. We just need to continue. So 10 or an ACS. Yeah, this is, this is going to go well. <laughs> it is Tom. A very profitable prolapse. King, please. No, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Oh, well, that's all right. That, that pays anyway. But oh, what, what a nuisance. We really need those full up. If you don't get to the end, it's not going to be huge. Yeah, that works. Check on three, queen on one. Or wilds anywhere now, obviously. We could do with a few multipliers as well, though. So they're all wild now. Nine on three works. Wilds anywhere, obviously. Ace on one and ace on three. Queen on one. Ah, here we go. Come on, hit. Yes. Ace on one. All wild. Jacks work. Still got three left as well. Jack on two. Right, keep bring 
bringing those wilds in, please. I think we've got jets as well. Yeah. Wilds everywhere. Yeah, big, nice one. Back in the game. Never expected that bonus. Not in a million years. Best prolapse ever, absolutely. <laughs> it's more like a relapse than a prolapse, I reckon. <coughs> Dada. Genie and Piggy. So who won the vote? It was Genie, wasn't it, to start with? Getting a beer after that, absolutely, mate. Oh, come on. If this doesn't come, we'll just leave it. Dave is the pun master. <coughs> right, what's that give us? 67, right. I'm going to do... 280. Down to 65 anyway. Two more. Might as well do the last one at a pound. That's it. Right, Genie. Genie McGuays. That's the baby. Right, we've been going nearly an hour and a half. We might as well raise the stakes. I think 60p minimum now. This one down to 50 quid, then Piggy Riches for a little while, and obviously Gargo at the end. Can't do a stream without him. That shouldn't happen. That is my pet hate of this game. It's almost made me want to go away from it straight away. Well, that's made up for it. Tom. Yes, Sausage Party, that was the other one, wasn't it? I, I said we'd play. Right, so... I think we'll do... Obviously Genie now. We'll do Sausage Party next. Stick with the other. So just interesting. Yeah, I fancy a go on it anyway, Tom. I think people will like that game. It's quite good, because the film's fantastic. So... This one's annoyed me by doing that genie where he pops his head out of the lid and doesn't come out of the spell. Which is a complete scam. So we'll go to 55. We'll have a quick fiver on sausage. Then Biggie Riches. And then I think we should do high stakes Gaga or higher stakes. Yeah, you press 
frustrating thing about this game is that they don't disappear when they get in. Yes, yep. Yeah. And actually, we didn't play Primals, we were going to play Primals, but exactly the same with that one, Dave. Yeah, and you expect it on all the Mega Ways ones, mate, don't you? You know, even, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? That does it, and you only need, it's normally, if you only need three scatters, it doesn't cascade, but if you need four, it does. But it doesn't, it's not always the, the way, but nine times out of 10, that's the, that's the difference. Or tumbling reels, I should say. Sausage. Yeah, I think a lot, a lot of people like the tumbling mills, Tom. Well, I only, I only want to give this one a fiver because this one's like Ted and um, all those sort of, you know, the same sort of games. I would do 40 p's on this one, I think, just to see what it's playing like. Yeah, the, you can pretty much tell on these straight away whether it's likely to or not. Exactly, Lloyd. Right, are these anything in particular? Are you winning? Thank you, Top Dog Wilds. This would be whole lines, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Right, obviously, we need that one. Yeah, and we won't get the front one. Yeah, whole row queens, though. Yeah, it was a good choice that one, um, Lloyd, tonight, mate. Right, excuse me while I go and do the coffee. Oh, here, here we go. See that jackpot thing that's just come up? That's what I had that um, gave me the... Um, well, first of all, it's £2 something, then £7 something, and then I played... Um, it was then my money, and I made 80 quid just from that one spin, uh, you know, one lot of spins. So I've got another one now we've been playing long enough and it gives it on this site on video slots it gives you those quite often the only trouble is the uh, RTP on video slots isn't as good as most other sites right excuse me a second chairs in charge
tonight we're drinking Tailors of Harrogate. Taken. How'd you climb the jackpot? I'll show you. Right, uh, has this one been packed? I can't remember. Did we go to this one with 50 quid? Yeah, I'll play that on the stream in a sec, Lloyd. No, I think he meant the jackpot, but I won the money on earlier, Tom, I'm not sure. Right, let's see if we can power spin it in. Yeah, the pop-up one. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I'll show you uh, what happens on that one in a second. Let's just go down to 40. And then it's Piggy Riches, isn't it? Right, last go. Come on, we've got it on the last go. Yes! <laughs> free spin so we don't want great beyond all still fresh now of course we get the worst one gotta gamble it even if we get a mystery one I really don't care that the first ones are dreadful Sorry, this that'll do It's going to be what? Three or four quid? Not even. <coughs> right, we'll play the 280. Again, I'm sure it won't come back straight away, but never mind. Right, two left. Last go. Is that one more? No, it's not right. I'll show you how that bonus works. So I think it's in my profile if I remember rightly. Yep, so jackpot. And what you do is spin the wheel, like on the um, Risk Casino one. So we're obviously not gonna get the 15, it looks like we're gonna get 10, or the pound. It was terrible, Lloyd. Right, that's a pound for um, a battle. What the battle is, is everyone plays the same slot for a pound. Um, it gives you 40 goes. And I'll show you what I mean. There's the battle slots. So there's battles going on all day. Whoever gets the most points wins. Uh, so for one pound, you can play that one, look, Wild West. But that will be... Oh, it's on Berry Burst that'll be a rebuy so you've got to keep rebuying but yeah that's how it works but this afternoon I've got 15 spins so I'll keep that for another day right let's go piggy riches Ollie hello right Ollie you're going in the book mate now what happens Ollie is if you come and say hello on what we today we're Monday if you come and say hello on stream on Thursday you get a piece of pie mate so, Ollie, 
So don't forget to come and say, all you have to do, even if you don't want to watch the stream, come onto the stream, say hello. And I'll tell you what, folks, if you wouldn't mind, when you say hello, can you just press the like button as well on, on YouTube? That really helps. Thank you. Right, Piggy Riches and Megaways. Yeah, I keep forgetting to ask you, and I, I, I don't want to keep asking, but um, it, it, it really, really helps. And if you can't see the like button, if you're on your phone and you've got your phone that way, you won't see it. Turn the phone up that way, and then you'll see the like. And it costs nothing. <coughs> okay, so 40 pence is a gain. Uh, let's give it 12 and then we'll move on to React Tunes. Iceman, have I got you down already? Because you can't say hello twice on the same and still get it. <laughs> Iceman, yes I have. site we've only got the balance here so hopefully if we do get the bonus we won't see it anywhere else Do you, Lloyd? We'll see. We've got a plan, haven't we? Oh, cheers, bud. Yeah, of course, I forgot about people watching it on their TVs. Yeah, you can't do it, can you? Thank you, though, Tom. That's great. King on three, come on. Yes, you do. I'll accept that as well. Anyone cheating? All cheating's accepted. Here we go, just under the jackpot. See how quickly they come up. We'll play that one again in a minute. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's just a big hit, I think. Yeah, of course it's on ATP, isn't it? Oh, come on, go back on the first one. Right, now the pie, if you go onto your YouTube channel and just go into Boom Troika, and look for last night's video, Ollie. Um, you'll see it. It's basically I give away money uh, when I have a big win to one of the viewers. And uh, first one, Gary won. That was 25 quid. That paid out uh, last month. And yesterday we had another one because I had a big win in the week, which Jill won. Uh, but you can get as many bits of pie as you like. 
so you watch two consecutive streams you get a piece of pie but yeah go on to last night's uh, stream just scroll along until you see, or, or, or whiz along until you see a big wheel come up on the screen and you'll see how it works Ollie but it's more fun sometimes than the actual slots to be honest mate I think people look forward to it more I certainly do that's big yes that's big thank you 20 quid for one spin thank you very much we're back to 50 again To be honest though, Wally, it, it, it is, it's probably one of those events that you need to be there and you need to have an interest in it. it um, I'm, I'm trying to think, you know, that it was exciting for everyone last night because they were in it. And having thought about it, it wouldn't be the most exciting thing to watch, mate, unless you were in it. But as I said, if you come along and just say hello on Thursday, um, you get a piece of pie. So you will be in it next time and it's guaranteed paid out on the 29th of um, April so whatever you're doing on the 29th just come along to the stream and um, you could win anything between five and fifty pounds bags again it's not quite as much be a nice birthday what is that your birthday is it 29th of April Dave I have tried to get you on Facebook I think buddy but I'm not I'm not sure whether I sent the request or you haven't seen it or you thought why the bloody hell would I want to be his friend on Facebook <laughs> which many people think And I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, because most of the time I'm arguing about politics on there, to be fair. I try my best not to, but I get a little bit frustrated with people's blind views. Blinkered views, I should say. Come on, keys on three. Keys on three. Tell you what, we're getting a lot of the top symbol. I don't even know what the balance is. Ah, oh, yeah, the birthday slot. Well remembered, Tom. But don't forget, the birthday slot is five pounds for the person whose birthday it is through the slot. And they can claim half the win, the half of the amount that's won profit-wise. Ah, oh, well, I don't think I don't think it should be your exact birthday. Maybe in the same week. Now I'll tell you what we're going to do with the birthday slot. If your birthday's in the week, in that week, let me know. Rather than a fiver, that, that's just silly because that, that could go on forever. It, we do. You get one spin of a one pound steak. So rather than watch the birthday slot forever, you get one one pound spin on it. And whatever you win, you keep the lot, and I keep the pound. That's fair. And this one's broken now. 
it's the day after now you still get it you still get a pound And I think as the birthday person, you get to choose exactly when you want it played. No, I'm pretty sure your birthday, if I remember rightly, Tom, is November. Or is that your mum? <laughs> I'm not letting you know. But you could win 100 quid, Dave. One spin at a quid. I think it's worth, um, I think it's worth it but it has to be that slot. You might be lucky, it might not be on that site. <laughs> I'm not concentrating again, I might have gone under 50 quid. Right, let's do some power spinning. I thought you were. Come on, we want one of those when we get three of those in a row. I'm pretty sure the bonus isn't coming. We've hit very few bonuses and been going forever. It's a really unusual um, stream. It's, it's either bonuses and we run out of money or no bonuses and we actually keep building. Right, queen on two. Yeah, piggy on two. Piggy on two. time I think Yes, so do I, Lloyd. Is that another go there? Yeah, it is. 33p, right. No, I'm going to do a pound. Right, last slot. Reactoons, a uh, pound ago. Because I'm still working at the moment. Well, the rest of you are locked in. I'm allowed out every day. <laughs> right, this is either going to last five minutes or Cargo's going to come out to play. And that's a nice hit.
don't think we'll be getting it on the first go. No. Junk Gaga products which only mean a wonky eye. Yeah, we will. We'll open the jackpot. Remind me at the end if I forget, Lloyd. But yeah, we'll definitely open it, mate. Let's see what we've got this time. You start running again. Oh, nice one. What, running around the lounge? last time we need some wilds please yeah I was doing the 5k park runs but um, Sam had I, I was doing uh, I did 10k Saturday. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I was doing 5k park runs with Sam, uh, but then he got a job. Mercedes have asked him and someone else to refit one of the old Mercedes vans, and then Mercedes are buying it back off of them. And uh, because I used to go running with him, um, we stopped two weeks before the virus made everyone stop, and I haven't been since. Um, he was sort of my encouragement to go, to be honest because um, I hate running but the park runs it didn't seem quite so bad because there was a crowd of people but yeah I absolutely detest running for some reason oh nice one Tom that's huge mate oh yeah I think you said that yes yeah but yeah I don't I don't know what it is about I really mind you my knees really play up and I think that's the problem and I do tend to be in quite a lot of pain when I when I'm going round but I do feel better for it afterwards that's the, that's the biggest thing Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should do walks instead. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, my my knees a terrible, Dave. And um, yeah, of course the gyms are closed. I forgot about that. I'll tell you what I did used to really like doing, I know it sounds pathetic and I think I've told you before, is the Wii Fit. I'm uh, just playing the games on there. And that 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 made me sweat more than going out for a run to be honest. We used to do the actual boxing one and the you know, all of them, the dance one and everything. And the running on the spot round the island and so on. But we used to do three whole laps of the whole island, which would last about twenty minutes. And um, you know, with, with, with Wii Fit, you're always trying to beat your last score. Uh, first mile is a killer. Seems like once. Yeah, my, my knees go at about um, one or two kilometres in, then it's really painful for the whole of the rest of the way around. No, it's 20 p. Otherwise, oh, how much have we got left? No, I've got to go anyway soon. Lloyd, we, we've done a couple of hours, buddy, but thanks for looking after my, my money tonight. I wouldn't have had a clue what's going on. The bowling is good fun. Right, nice implosion. Yes, this is huge implosion. You can't get much better than that one. Right, we need two bars from this, but we need another one. Come on, another orange, please. Orange, orange, orange. No, 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 no. Not green. If we don't get a wild, then this is awful. Come on, Gaga, for a pound. No one's ever seen him for a pound. Wild. Come on, because we've got, we've got him for a pound. 
we've got Gaga for a pound and we've got an alteration. Come on. Pinks. Pinks, 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 pinks. No, not just pathetic little symbols. Right, we need them about here. We're not going to get a big one. But it's as good as we can get with the pinks. Yeah, it's as good as we can get with the pinks again. That's probably more than last time. I think that's about 30. That's 50 quid. Come on, baby. You beautiful Gaga. That's it. Gaga's the one. Gaga is the one. And that's why we play for a pound, Lloyd. <laughs> 140 quid, right. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really ended the stream nicely. Let's see if we can get one more. Come on, wild incision. Stop messing around. Yes. <laughs> Come on, one more. Yes. Nice stream ender, absolutely, Dave. Bloody hell. <laughs> Come on, we, we need wilds. We need wilds. When you do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, Tom, it, it, it wasn't. It was only because Lloyd said, Oh, you're still doing it at a pound. I looked at the balance and it said 14 quid. And then suddenly the next spin. We pick up 100 and, ooh, 120. <laughs> ah, I don't know what's going on over there, but it's, oh, well, that's better. All right, we'll go down to 130. Then, who fancies another go on shoot? Just for a finish. Right, we've got oranges here, I think, yeah. Don't think we're going to make the next bar. This is just a mess after that, isn't it, Gaga? We need a blue one. Not quite. Yeah, we'll go down to 130. Anyone fancy another go and shoot? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do then, Nick. Um, I'll see what time I'm back home tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, don't go now. And we'll, um, yeah, I might do one tomorrow. Because I don't have to deposit. Shoot or Rise of Olympus. Yes, of course, we could do one of each. Or one of those. Right, now is this going to hit? Because the orange one builds straight away if it does. Yes. Incorporate that. No, don't land on it. That's a waste. Yeah, that was awful. Primal's on a pound. Good shell. do that jackpot one next stream uh, Lloyd so we've got something to look forward to on that to open that right primals we'll do tell you what we'll do we'll do primals at 60p for 20 quid and then right it's up to you Tom whether you want shoot or rise of Olympus mate you can choose so we'll do 20 pound on primals 20 pound on whichever one Tom chooses out of shoot or rise of Olympus so 60p and 20 quid's worth
Yeah, what I do, Lloyd, I think uh, Olympus for me, no pressure. Tom, good. There's one vote. Yeah, if I'm in, I'll know when I leave Cornwall what time I'll get home, Lloyd. So um, what I'll do is, if I think I can be home in time, because uh, there's a few changes going on at work, uh, which is going to make me quite a bit busier. Okay. Yep, Olympus it is. Oh yeah, if you're all up for a stream tomorrow, then we'll keep a hundred quid. Then we'll do one tomorrow. Oh yeah, and if you're all back tomorrow, that's two consecutive streams. The only trouble is, there are people that aren't here that won't know about it. So we won't count tomorrow as the two consecutive. So if you don't turn up tomorrow, you don't lose out. So we'll still do the consecutive ones as the advertised ones. Otherwise it's not fair on the people that aren't here. Or the people who can't make tomorrow. Normally leave the yard at well. Normally leave home at about nine in the morning, and um, normally get down to Cornwall for about two. Uh, takes them sort of an hour to two hours to load me, and then I drive back. But I've I'm restricted because I've got a lorry tomorrow, so I'm restricted to 56 miles an hour. Normally I go down in a van and I can get back. I think my plan for running. In Gone. Oh. Come on, come on, elephants. Right, let's have a nice one. Might we could do it tomorrow with 150. Could do. Yeah, that's fine. So you don't. No, we. You don't need to be here tomorrow, Tom. I'm not going to have that as part of the pie um, because it's an unadvertised one. I think the consecutive should be today and Thursday still. Uh, that's what I've told other people, so you'll you'll be fine with that. Or or we could do Wednesday. Tell you what, ooh, elephants. That's going to be quite good, but it's not massive. I think we'll get we'll get over the six quid though. So yes. Right, in the, how many of you are watching now? There's 10 of you watching. Uh, let's have votes for Tuesday or Wednesday, please, and then I'll um, make my mind up, uh, depending on what you say. When's good for you guys? Because it makes no difference to me. No, oh, we must have got a re-trigger, didn't we? Didn't see that either. One's happy with either. So Tuesday for Lloyd, any for Sally. Right, that was quite a nice hit. So we'll give this another. Let's have a look. Either. Second spin re trigger. Cheers, bud. I didn't see that. Okay, so we'll do tomorrow. Of course, yeah. <laughs> that way you can cut out the adverts. <laughs> you can cut out the coffee advert. Tomorrow I will mostly be drinking coffee. Right, let's go a quid for seven.
uh, what time? Nine o'clock still sell. Yeah. Well, I might do it at eight o'clock. It depends on what time I get home, but I'll advertise it half an hour earlier than the stream goes ahead. So it could be, it could be eight, could be nine, but certainly no later than nine. If I've got real problems at work, then I'll um, let everyone know and we'll have to have it another day. Yeah, I should do. I should do, Dave. Get some free coffee. <laughs> right, Rise of Olympus. <clears throat> right, I think whatever happens, half past 11 will be the latest. So even if I win again, I think I'm going to have to close the stream down at about half 11, if you don't mind, chaps. Right, I was going to do twenty uh, a pound on two of. I uh, just oh, punk rocker, well done. Right, twenty pound on this one, then we'll finish with punk rocker. Nothing meets there, no. Yeah, that hits, but nothing else. That's the only space. No, rubbish. Oh, we've got a hit. That's very unusual with him. Very unusual. The thing is, because we've got £7.32 already, I would doubt we'll get into the major bit. Anything, it's going to be that one that's left over. That was awful. Yes, I've played Gonzo's Quest. I used to play that a lot. You think they pay better at night? No, I've had some massive wins Saturday afternoons and mornings, mate. Really big ones. What you'll probably find, Lloyd, and the reason it seems like it, most people will play later on in the evenings after work so the times that you'll see the bigger wins will be um, obviously the law of averages suggest that the, the wins you'll see will be that time of night because people rarely play during the day some do but um, most people will play after work um, so it gives you like a, a full sense of of that yeah as Tom said as well it's um you know that's that's the reason it's like when people play poker online they say um you know that there's there's too many bad beats now if you play poker live at a casino you're playing probably 10 hands an hour when you play poker online you're probably playing 30 hands an hour so the bad beats you notice more waste of time when there's only three of the gods there. Anything. 
is that is that's it. Right, it gives us three more goes on this one, then we're going to have a, a last little go on punk rocker. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Nick. Primals can pay massively, mate. So can um, uh, jamming jars that can go crazy. Well, they they all they all can. Yeah, on ten pound. Yeah. feeling I'm going to move away from this one this will be the last one by the way um, legacies I've got a feeling one of these is going to do it so we can do 50 P's on this one and then it's bedtime for me as well and we can do exactly 20 pound I think or two lots of 10 there you go We've only played Book of Dead tonight and that wasn't for very long, so this can be the last one. 7k on jamming and loads of Razor Shark, yep, Razor Shark can pay massively as well. Now if we have a decent hit on this one, I might finish with one of those two, but I, I want to get back to 150 really before I decide to, to play those two. I got a feeling. <laughs> Definitely, I got a feeling about this one. I don't know why. It was either this one or Merlin. They're the same game, really, just in a different wrapper. We haven't played Razor Shark. Can we play that tomorrow? Yes, of course we can. Again, pop it down on that. Here we go. Told you. Told you, Dave. Oh, but only chat. It doesn't matter if we get a. We can re-trigger this one, and we get another symbol. But it's very rare. It's very rare that you get a re-trigger. He might not be yet, Sally, but I bet he is soon. That's my only worry about streaming these sorts of things. I just don't want to encourage people. But if I do encourage them, I hope I encourage them just as much. And I always make this really clear to set yourself limits and guidelines. Right, this is another 20 quid. That's 25 quid, it's nearly 30 quid this is. It is now. Quick on Razor Shark, didn't I? If I'm 
if we hit on this. Oh, one away. <laughs> 79p, yeah. That's about me as well, Lloyd. Silly here. Ten at a pound, then raise a the shark. Then I must back up soon. Shark's not as good as this. Yeah, I'm going to do. I am enjoying this one, Dave. I'm going to do another £10 on this one at a pound, but that is the limit, and then we're going Razor Shark for the last. And thanks to Gaga. Yeah, I love Razor Shark as well, but it's, it's not the best payer. But it's one of those machines that always seems to be just on the brink of giving you something really exciting. So, Razor Shark it is. Start at 50. And that's 25 quid and 50 50 p's. No limit on the win. Right, there we go. Yeah, two hour stream on a on a um, Monday. That's not bad. Considering the streams cost me nothing today whatsoever. That's the good part about it. And the next stream's not gonna cost me anything either. Yeah, 80 actually, Lloyd. We only had 80, mate. Oh, you like it, Jill? Good. It's the same provider uh, as... Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't done... Um, people seriously put a win limit on, yeah. And, yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't even know why it's there, Dave. It's pathetic. Stake limit, I can understand completely. Win limit? Why? There's one other one. Oh, should I, should I not? Oh, no. No, I'm going to carry on with this. Exactly, Dave. It, it, it makes no sense, mate. Of 
coins. That's when we need coins, when you've already got a, a mine. That was, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking, Lloyd. That's why I, I sort of stopped for a little while. I didn't want to mention anything, but you're right, mate. I think we've got to do it. We go down to 115, and then it's Fat Rabbit. Let's power spin this baby home. Oh, I watched that film yesterday, Contagion. Um, what a time to watch it. I'm glad I've never seen it before. Now is the perfect time. If you've not watched Contagion, folks, now is the perfect time. It pretty much plays out exactly as we're experiencing. <laughs> this one's picking up now as well. All the base games have been really good tonight. Come on. Well, I think we go down to 120. you to turn into coins again please come on link yes that's a great hit that's a really good hit we've got one of the best symbols once there we've got one there as well yeah that's nice bad, 16 is 8 quid. Doesn't want to stop playing today, does it? Unbelievable amount of seaweed, but they're not they're not collecting per yeah, very nice win on this one, Julie. That was really nice. Really like the bonus on it though. I'm going to go down to 150. Yeah, that'll do. No, I'll tell you what. Let's do a tenner at a pound. And then, yeah, you're right, Lloyd. A pound on Fat Rabbit. Play Fat Rabbit, obviously. I'm going to do 50p and I'm going to do um, down to 120. So the next stream we've got 120 to start with. That basically means we can start off playing higher stakes next time. Hi, Sophie, maybe Tom. The only reason we're saying that, Sophie, is Tom said he was going to log in on your name so you don't miss out on Pi. But I don't believe he'd do that, so I really think it's hello, Sophie. Right, so Sophie's in the book. <coughs> Must be Tom wouldn't be able to go from one to the other that quickly. <laughs> so Sophie gets... Uh, Sophie... 
you need to say hello on Thursday, Sophie. <laughs> and if you say hello on the stream on Thursday, you get a piece of pie. That's how it's going to work. Two consecutive streams. Um, we might, we're probably going to do a stream tomorrow, but not everyone would know about it. So um, all you need to do is come back and say hello on um, on uh, Thursday. <laughs> Don't know what this world would do without people like you, Sophie, in these times. Well, any time, really. I know you couldn't. <laughs> Are you like me, Tom, where, say for instance, there's, you know, it's a Christmas party and someone says, right, let's have a game of Cluedo or Monopoly or whatever the game is. Are you one of these that gets really frustrated if people don't play absolutely properly? Because that is one of my pet hates. I can never play a game and, it, you know, even if someone misses about a tiny bit, it really bugs me. Steak and ale. I'm hoping for rabbit pie tonight, but everything else has been playing really well so just to see the rabbit won't hurt yeah exactly Sophie yeah I'm gonna be one of those real horrible parents who makes their son or their daughter look after me in my old age. It is, it is quite sad that we live in a society, society nowadays where it has to be the responsibility of someone else. You know, what, what would I have done without my mum between the ages of zero and say, well, 15, 16 even? And then we choose then to put them in the home at the end of their. I know people are experts, and you know there there are certain ailments that children can't deal with. Like let's take my nan for example. She had dementia. It would have been impossible for anyone um, to to deal with that. Uh, but if she was completely sane, then I think it's a different story. And I think we, you know. You, it's like the Italians, that they wouldn't dream of of having their parents in a home, or, or the majority of them wouldn't. They're so family orientated, and I think we've lost that. Um, and, and it's sad. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd enjoy myself in a nursing home rather than them. Um, I don't know, it's just, it, 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 I, I don't even want to think about it at the moment, but it's one of those things that I find sad. I don't think it's wrong, particularly. I know I might have said it's wrong. I think it's very sad. I look after my mum. Yeah, exactly, Julie. Yeah, and that's lovely. But I know, as I say, with my nan, it was a, it was an illness that I don't expect anyone that's not professional to be able to to cope with. <laughs> Can you imagine it Tom? <laughs> yeah looking after all your in-laws but my um, uh, my first father-in-law looked after his dad and it's unusual for the man, it's not, you know, I know this is sexist, but this isn't n the norm. It's normally a woman that takes her parents on. But it was my ex-father-in-law that, that looked after his dad until the day he died. And that was fantastic. Of course we're going to get the rabbit. They only need to be the 100%. Yeah, absolutely, that's what I mean. It's um, It's quite different. But to someone who's completely capable, um, then maybe we live in smaller houses and so on these days, so it's um, it's not so easy.
Come on, rabbit, get fat. Two more, please. This spin. No, we're not. This rabbit's not going to do anything. It would have come now. I bet we get one now. No, not even. That was awful. Last of the summer wine in your own household. No, exactly. That's what I mean, Jill. Nan couldn't. It would have been impossible. Uh, I must say because of her ailments. But I suppose as well, the reason looking back that it might have happened is because people were a lot fitter but didn't live as as long maybe. You know, people oh we got it again now. Maybe people lived until they, they were seventy for instance. So the dementia and all that sort of stuff never kicked in. So you were only looking after your parents for say five years after retirement, so maybe it was a lot easier. Now people are living into their 80s and 90s. That's a lot of commitment. Right, this is better. We've got two carrots already. Oh, why didn't you eat this one first? One more carrot gives us the next one up. Surely we're gonna get one more. But we need him quickly. Yes. Oh. Now this could expand twice. Sorry if I'm not looking at all the comments at the moment, but this is really exciting. So one, two, yeah, three more. Come on, let's get at least this one, at least. Yes. Two more. One more, and we've got two spins to get it in. Come on, baby. Come on, fat rabbit. Don't let us down with one. Come on. Come on. Almost certainly not going to get the next one, but Tara and I had it yesterday or the day before. But we need him to go left. He's got to go left. This is nice. This is a nice hit. We're going to get over the 150. Yeah, and the buckets. The pails. Come on. Nearly 200 quid now. We are 200, aren't we? Of course we are. Right. Never mind, it wants midnight snacks. Right, 215. I'm going to take out 100. This has cost me nothing. So it would be silly of me not to take 100 out. Um, I'll do it in a minute. We'll play with the 15. I'm going to go for Book of Dead. No, we were going to go Merlin, weren't we? Let's just see if Merlin's awake. Or is there anything else there that looks interesting? No, we're we'll going Merlin. Rise of Merlin. 15 quid on this. Then, whatever happens, I'm going to close the stream down. We've been doing almost two and a half We've been doing over two and a half hours. So, I'm going to take out 100 quid. Um, obviously I need to build up some cash yeah keep 200 exactly I'm going to take out 100 and then we've got 100 to play with tomorrow so we go 50p 15 quid did turn up at the right time that was a lovely hit as well Tom wasn't it big one
feel it with this one. Yeah, it did. Yeah, you're right, Dave. It did find a few bonuses. It's mental, isn't it, how it goes sometimes. I'm not feeling it with Merlin. I'm just going to go back to 16. I love that you're just here for a chat. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. Right, last few. Yeah, I certainly didn't get the feeling with um with Merlin tonight. This game somehow reminds me of the um the print that I'm having off you, Tom. Oh, did you send me your PayPal details? If not, just private message me when you get a minute, mate. Or I'll give you the cash when I pick it up. It makes no difference, does it really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've done that a few times, Dave, literally throwing the bowling ball down I thought oh that's going to go nowhere near it and you turn around you've got a strike ok Sophie yeah it is nearly over I'm just going down to the 200 but that's probably one of my better results because it was from absolutely nothing it was completely free and because it was such a small amount I won initially the playthrough although it was 30 times you know, 30 times two quid, it, it, it's, it, it played through so quickly. Oh, okay, yep, no, that's perfect, I'll do that. Uh, Facebook, um, thing I think Dave I think it was you I sent one I'm sure it was um, when you first came on the stream I thought oh I'll, I'll send you a Facebook request so you can then link to the um, uh, Boom Trike Facebook page but if Nicola's got it, it it doesn't make an awful lot of difference I suppose but yeah I'm sure I put a request a friend a friend requesting on there mate yeah it has been a good night Joe. I've enjoyed it again thank you Right, one at 25, and that's it. Right, thanks chaps, and I will, all being well, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, if there's any problems with tomorrow, I shall. Now I'll tell you what, if you don't hear from me, I won't be doing one. Uh, if I'm doing a stream, I'll obviously put it on the Facebook page, but thanks for joining me tonight chaps, and um, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll definitely see you on Thursday. So see you all soon, all the best.